Roger. Another day means another SBC player review, and today we have probably one of the greatest super subs ever in FIFA Ultimate Team history. Ryan Kent. His new foot centurion card is an 85 rated left winger. He's 5 foot 8, high medium work rates, right footed with 4 star skill moves and 5 star weak foot. He does only have one alternative position and that is left mid, although I do believe that a lot of people are going to be playing him at the striker position. He has 96 pace, 80 shooting, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, 48 defending and 69 physical. Some of his key stats are his 95 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, 90 shot power, 93 balance and 90 stamina. He also has the flare trait, long shot taker trait, and technical dribbler. In order to complete the new Ryan Kent card, all you need is an 82 rated team with a minimum of one informed card. This is the team that we're going to be using in two games of Division Rivals to test out the new Ryan Kent card. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Here we are ladies and gentlemen in the voiceover slash highlight portion of the video. I want to start things off by saying that the new Ryan Kent card is I'm calling it right now is going to be in the majority of teams that you're going to come up against so definitely be prepared to see him in and around the 60th minute especially if you're winning the game another year means another kent card boys this time an 85 rated foot centurion card and in all honesty he feels just as good as in previous fifas again he's quick strong agile and feels very overpowered and meta in game you guys know the drill three pros and three cons for the new ryan kent card the three pros that i did witness in the two games of division rivals uh, were definitely his pace agility and finishing the card is absolutely rapid and is probably up there with one of the quickest players currently in fifa 23 ultimate team Although he doesn't have the highest of finishing and stu shooting stats, he still manages to finish most of the chances that you do present him with, which is a huge sign in my opinion. And then last but not least, his agility is absolutely incredible. Very silky and light on his feet, so if you're really good at left stick dribbling, this card is going to do absolute bits for you in-game. As you guys can see right here, we're in the 70th minute, a fantastic pass by Rooney into Kent and with a fantastic finish at the back post to make it 4-3 in the game. And then in the 89th minute, we're still up, but we want to seal the win. So right here, we have Zinedine Zidane on ball. Kent, we're going to try a Trivella. Um, unlucky to hit the crossbar, but he does end up finishing the game off and winning 5-3. In the second game right here, boys, I definitely noticed some of the cons. The three cons that I did witness, well, actually only two to be completely honest, were his strength and passing. His strength is a bit on the low side, so you can definitely expect to be pushed off the ball with Kent from time to time. His passing is also a bit on the edgy side, as some of his passes are a bit off, especially if you're playing a direct pass with a bit of power behind it. I definitely recommend throwing on a chemistry style that's going to bump up both his passing and physical, so maybe an engine would do the job for him. Overall, boys, he's an incredible card that I really did enjoy using. I'm going to go ahead and give the card a 9 out of 10 rating. He's overpowered, and you're most likely going to see him all the time in Ultimate Team. Love him or hate him, boys. He's here to stay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Ryan Kent Foot Centurion card in two games of Division Rivals. In those two games, he managed to pick up seven goals and one assist. He was absolutely incredible. For roughly 20,000 coins, an 82 rated team with a minimum of one informed card. He's a must complete in my opinion. Probably one of my favorite cards that I've used so far in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. His pace is absolutely incredible. Although he doesn't have the highest of shooting, he seems to finish most of his chances. His dribbling is absolutely insane. 96 agility with 95 balance he's very very agile in game and probably the most important stat he does have the four star skill moves and five star weak foot so you can use his left or right foot when going forward like i said boys for roughly twenty thousand coins this is a must complete sbc in my opinion you're getting a fantastic card and you're also working towards getting tavernier foot centurion card as well you guys already know with the weekend league coming up so many people are going to have them in their team if not in their main team definitely as a super sub so around the 60th minute uh be prepared to see ryan kent coming in i can't wait to play against him in all 20 games games of foot champs this week but that is going to be the end of today's video guys another fantastic sbc from ea if you guys did enjoy today's video go ahead and smash the like button comment down below your thoughts on the kent and tavernier sbc and then also consider subscribing to the channel as we are on the road to 500 subscribers thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on this video i've been your boy Buba, and i'll catch you guys in another video very very soon peace